laps to run for the 2014 Teagle Excavations ARB Pines Enduro. Still plenty of intense battles to get sorted. This is a super tough track, requiring the very best from all of the teams. Not that they needed to, but Owen and Ryan headed back out on course, still swinging. They had a massive lead of just under seven minutes. That, however, did not stop them from setting another fastest lap time. Aaron Haby was second quickest. He and Navigator wife Liz resumed their event-long battle with Burrows and Ratcliffe, the latter third, but only by 18 seconds. Matt Owen keeping his good speed on par and maintaining his fourth spot. Aaron James, another consistently fast, fifth place, heading into the final lap. With a good lead in the ARB series, Carl Haby remained conservative compared with his usual attack speed. His focus firmly on winning the series title. That said, he currently held down sixth place outright. On the subject of good drives, Dale Martin, aboard his 133 Tatum, put in a beauty. His times across the day, very quick, and in particular on the last couple of runs, fourth and fifth outright. A massive effort. Unfortunately, a drama on lap three, spoiling what could have been a brilliant result. He certainly had the attention of his fellow ProLite competitors. That battle was one to watch all day. Eventual winner James Lockett trading times with Luke Erseg on some laps just seconds separating the pair. Lockett taking the class at events end with a brilliant seventh outright to add to the celebration. Erseg's event ruined by a loss of five minutes on the first run of the last section. Second in class, very much still a fine run and a good weekend's work. The 117 of David Middlemiss grabbing third in the group. The extreme two-wheel class proved to be survival of the fittest. After problems for Brown, Hall and Attard, Jamie Knight kept it consistent. The only one in the group to get all laps run. Good times rewarding him with the category win. Robert Moore taking second spot with all but one lap completed, third going to Attard. The big field of Super 1650s entertained all weekend. Alistair McClelland out front and pretty well in control across the six tough laps. He did need to keep a close watch on Daniel Wells, who was always within striking distance. Wells and Nav Luke Price taking second in class. Another fine effort by Shannon Fitzgerald to take the final podium spot with all laps run. The tin top classes of performance two-wheel drive and extreme four-wheel drive, both producing great results. Although usual front runner Bernie Clossy was another driver protecting his series class win and electing to drive a conservative pace. Full marks to Darren Vanderwood, a very good result taking first in this group on a super challenging event. Clossy second and the 505 of Stephen Watkins making all six laps and the final podium spot. The 880 Patrol of Dixon showed the way over four laps in the extreme four-wheel drive class. Unfortunately, diff issues stopping his celebration short. James Tyrrell faring much better, all laps run and the top spot. A good couple of days work. Had it not been for issues on the third lap, which cost him 10 minutes, Sandy Bowman would have grabbed top spot. Settling for second, another to get the total distance run. Whedon and Hobbs third place in the group. Production four-wheel drive, super light and sportsman's categories all hit hard. None of the runners in these classes getting to the full race distance. Another very good example of just how tough six laps and 420 kilometers of this enduro course can be.
Out front, the pace continued to be a hectic one. All crews in the top six pushing hard, but making sure they would get through this last lap. Just one aim heading into this year's race, the event's defending champion Carl Haby was looking to clinch the series. This is one of many teams that's recognising the prestige of this series and in the process driving for the points. Six outright, a good result on its own, however the calculated drive rewarded Carl Haby and Nav Brenton Galash with the 2014 ARB Off-Road Racing Series title. Keeping up his fine form of late, Aaron James has put together another very good result. Completing the final lap and grabbing fifth outright, his 93 machine looking and sounding the goods. This is another top class drive and a well deserved finish. Consistently quick lap times, no equipment problems and plenty of determination. For Matt Owen, that spelled success and fourth outright on this huge event. This is another super job. Not backing off, Mark Burrows finishing his day with a fastest lap time. A fine third outright for the weekend. Another top line competitor that puts this Millicent event on his calendar every year. It, uh, look, we've had a ball this weekend and uh, the car ran perfect. We, we had a few issues leading up to this race with the uh, overheating and water usage and stuff like that. We seen we got on top of that yesterday and uh, we've had a ball today. So we had no, no major problems, just uh, pass a few cars and trouble free. And how was the dust while passing? It wasn't too bad actually. You could catch up to someone, you get dusted in one straight, but then there's always a bit of loamy sand with damp on the next straight. So, well, it's by far the easiest track you know, that we race on as far as passing goes. It's great. So. A good finish and a big event for Aaron Haby. Starting a bit back and off the pace, he soon changed that with a charge through the field. It's been a great weekend for us and uh, start off 10th and uh, just claw our way back to the uh, second position. I'm over the moon with that, it's just amazing. Yeah, great and result. And how was the dust passing cars? Uh, pretty tough through the first two or three laps, it was, you know, low wind speeds and that. And uh, But most of the competitors are very good in the forest there. You call them up the radio and it was just, it made it a bit easier too. The, radio, the UHF stuff works really well in the, in the this forest there, it's great. In 2015, Aaron has switched from his single seater. Wife Liz taking on the nav duties, doing a great job, having plenty of fun and settling in for the long haul. It was very good actually, yep, we had a ball out there. Um, I called a few corners wrong, but he's used to doing it by himself, so um, yeah, he seems to drive it pretty good. And uh, marriage wise, how yeah. are we looking? Oh, we always look good. As long as he lets me sit in there, it's all good. So that tells us that for 2015, we've got the double seater? Yep, definitely. No, I love it. I navigated with him 20 years ago and I've taken this long to get back into a single seater. So you have to arm wrestle me to get me out. Smiles and heaps of champagne flowing. Glen Owen, a masterful drive, requiring plenty of speed and commitment. After an up and down year, Glen's super pleased to end the season with a win. Glen, fifth round of the 2014 ARB Off-Road Racing Series. What a great win. Yeah, no, great result. It's been a um, fairly busy day all day, but the car held together very well and yeah, brought us home. You've had an up and down season as far as the series is concerned. Talk us through it. 
Yeah, well, we started very strong in the series, then we had a DNF at Griffith, and then um, some other commitments. We didn't go to Gun to Windy, so we're pretty well out of the series, but it's still good to come and race the boys and have a good time. Just as quick from the navigator's seat, Matt Ryan very pleased with their plan to keep the pressure and the lap times well up. Of course, he's also very happy with the outcome. Oh, look, we're wrapped. It was fantastic. It was fast. That was probably the quickest I've been in the car, and yeah, it was yeah, awesome. It was good. We were actually a bit surprised. Like, we were sort of pushing, setting a good pace, but um, yeah, we probably a little bit left, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was good. We were able to set a comfortable pace all day and keep ahead, so that was important. For the 2014 Teagle Excavations ARB Pines Enduro, another very successful round. Big entry numbers, great competition, and plenty of action for the eager fans.